Pep Guardiola loves of tease over his team selection, and the 9-0 lead over Burton Albion allowed him free reign. As journalists tried to prize snippets of information for him ahead of the second leg, he revealed, unusually, that Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden would play and that Benjamin Mandy would be in the squad. And he dropped in another little conundrum when he was asked about possibly playing players out of position to test them or to experiment. Promoted stories therapy Jakarim or her? Take a deep breath before you see what she looks like No Therapy Jocker Daily SPIK He has 11 cheap classic cars that anyone can own Daily Spikes Mattress Reviews Here are the new mattresses that everybody is talking about Mattress Reviews Today and Talk Countries that should host the World Cup Stadium Talk B Tabula B Tabula Sponsored Links Sponsored Links Promoted Links Promoted Links I know them quite well, I know where they can play, he began Most of them are going to play in their positions, maybe one but almost everyone in his position. That maybe one turned out to be De Bruyne, asked to play a deeper position, sitting in the Fernandinho role, while Phil Foden and Fabian Delph rode forward. It ran the risk of making his Belgian ace grumpy, just as it seemed he was when Roberto Martinez picked him in a deep-lying role at the World Cup last summer. De Bruyne refrained from publicly complaining about that switch during the tournament, but when he was finally released from being a disciplined anchor, he responded with a match-winning display and superb goal as the Red Devils sank Brazil 2-1 in the quarter-finals. He was unlikely to moan about Guardiola's experiment at the Pirelli Stadium, and many think he could finish his career, in a few years' time, as a deep-lying playmaker. He underlined that with a dreamy pass to open up the Burton defence, playing in Riyad Mahrez to lay the only goal on a plate for Sergio Aguero. For now, De Bruyne remains City's dynamic midfield star, a player who is combative and dogged without the ball and often devastating with it. Only necessity would force Guardiola to take him out of the number 8 or 10 roles he plays so well, playing where he does, the gaffer gets a zealous defender as well as a dangerous attacker. No doubt, at Burton, Guardiola wanted to see how De Bruyne did in the role, with Fernandinho as his only true defensive midfielder, the more options the manager has, the better. Today's top Man City stories, but when Guardiola was asked about it, he suggested that the player still needed match sharpness and might be more involved by playing deeper. I thought maybe Burton play 4-1-4-1 and I want to see him with a lot of touches, said the manager. He needs to be in contact with the ball, especially the commitment. He was in a position to be aggressive his training and his attitude, he was a long time injured and it's not one or two days fit, he needs the minutes, he played 90 minutes and now 65 or 70. We need him, and step by step he's coming back.